All right, start off in your inputs, actions. Make a new input action for your pause menu. Open that up. Add a trigger for your pressed. Save that, close that, and go back into the default and add a mapping for your pause menu. You can click the little keyboard here and then a key on your keyboard to set it. Save that and close that. Then we're going to make a new user interface widget blueprint for your pause menu. Open that up and add a canvas panel. Right click the canvas panel and wrap with a background blur and I'm going to set the strength to 2. Then get a horizontal box and put it in your canvas panel. When you change the anchor here you can hold control shift and click that one to stretch it out. Get a vertical box and put it in your horizontal box with fill. And duplicate it twice. Select the one in the middle here and wrap with a border. I'm going to change the color of the border to black and 0.5 on the alpha. Then I'm going to get a spacer, put it in that box, duplicate it so you have two of them. Get a button, put it in there and put it in between the spacers. Duplicate it so you have two. I'm going to change the size of these spacers to 400. And then on the buttons, set them to fill. I'm going to change this top one to 450. And then you can change the padding on these buttons. I'm going to do the bottom for 15 to space them out a little bit. I'm going to change the color of these buttons. And I go up here and rename the buttons. The first one's going to be resume. The bottom one's going to be for quit. Now click the spacer on the top and wrap it with an overlay. Stretch it out. And then click the overlay and put a piece of text in it. I'm going to center the text and change the size of it. And then I'm going to change the text here. Put a piece of text in each of your buttons. Click each of the texts and you can click one and then control and then scroll down here and make them not hit testable self only. And then I'm going to change the size of the font. And then I'm going to change the text for each one. The first one's going to be resume. The other one's going to be quit game. And I'm going to change the color of this one to be a bit red. Compile, save that, and go into the graph. Just get the event construct here. Get your player controller. From the construct, get set game paused and set it to true. From the player controller, you want to set show mouse cursor. Set it to true. From the player controller again, you want to set the input mode to UI only. And the widget is going to be a self. Then we're going to make a custom event for unpause. And you can copy these three and paste them down here. And then set them to false. Then from the player controller we're going to set the input mode to game only. And then from here we're going to remove from parent. Now you want to click on your resume button, scroll down and get the on clicked event. Go from here and get your unpause custom event. And then for the quit button, get the clicked event again. Get your player controller, hold D and click to get a quick delay. And then change this to 0 0.1. Then from the player controller you want to drag and do quit game. 
Save that. Close that. Go into your character blueprint. Get your input action for pause menu. And then get your player controller. Drag from here and create widget. Plug that in and select your pause menu. And drag from here and add to viewport. Compile, save that. Close that and test it out. So if I hit escape, I pause it and click resume. I can jump and pause while I'm in the air. Click resume again. Thanks for watching.